Okay, so one thing I love about Apple is their commitment to making products and services for everyone. And this year is no exception. Apple has today announced a quick preview of some of the features coming to their platforms later this year for accessibility users. So I wanted to share the details with you guys. So let's just dive right into this one. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode now if you want to go ahead and read apple's entire press release today on their newsroom links will be in the description down below but i'm super excited to share with you guys some of these accessibility features and i want to start off with assistive access so basically this allows you to customize the home screen ui of your iphone so you can see it better if you have problems with your vision also app ui as well so let me show you some of the screenshot apple has shared this reminds me a lot of the apple watch list of view ui on the iphone which is is great especially for smaller devices you have your icons here from the home screen the photos and camera and things like that right there in front center of the ui so customizing the home screen is going to be possible with ios 17 as you can see right here with sort of a list view for this assistive access mode on the iphone that's coming shortly with ios 17. now inside of application ui you can also customize it so here is the call history as you can see right here you have a back button on the bottom this is a lot cleaner than what apple used to offer before before you can just make the text larger that's it this is an entire ui customization and experience for accessibility which i'm really really loving here this is the phone application i'm assuming we also have here the messages application i'll take a look at the emojis at the bottom here they sort of have this uh, pop-up a 3d look if you will to them they sort of look like stickers so they stand out the ui is very clean you have the send button which is nice and big also the back button is here present as well apple has also shared some information for the camera application same ui here basically we have the big large back button we also have the take picture button front and center there of the camera application so yeah entire ui customization experience for those that may have trouble seeing especially on smaller displays so assistive access definitely looking forward to this one now this next set of feature is called live speech and personal voice now this gives users the ability to type what they want to say you can even use it during facetime calls and this also gives you the ability to use it in person as well for conversations. Now, what this will do is the iPhone will give you several prompts for about 15 minutes to sort of record your voice tone and your voice so that it can identify what your voice sounds like and basically use a similar voice generated by your iPhone to use the live speech and personal voice during FaceTime or during a conversation where you can type in what you want to say and it will say it in your voice basically. A similar, I guess, AI kind of voice generated and it just uses that to actually communicate with others during FaceTime calls or in-person conversations and here's what the UI looks like. It can read the phrase to the other person or you can actually say it during FaceTime as I mentioned. So yeah, live speech and personal voice definitely a very nice feature coming to the iphone later this year with ios 17 and last but not least i want to talk about detection mode for magnifier this basically introduces a new point and speak for users that are blind or have low vision so basically when you launch the magnifier on your iphone the camera of your iphone can detect what you're doing so for example we have a screenshot here of someone just pressing buttons on a microwave let me play this quick video for you from apple's website here Cook time pizza power level add 30 seconds so essentially the magnifier application turns into this ui reading camera experience where it allows you to detect and read objects in front of you so you can work with appliances around your home and things like that or detect and read things that are around you the magnifier application on your iphone of course is a stock user interface for the iphone and i think this is a great idea and a great addition to accessibility features coming to the iphone later this year i would like to hear your thoughts in those comments down below what do you think about the new features that apple has previewed for ios 17 are you looking forward to the next major update i would like to hear your thoughts thank you to apple for committing to accessibility for committing to making products and services to everyone i hope you guys have a great day and i'll see you guys on the next one peace